do, 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 do. Okay, back at it again. Having to cut people out of your life or being cut out of someone's life sometimes is very taxing on your mental health. And it's really hard to process. It's really, really hard to mourn a living human. Um, I've had to mourn the dead. And I've had to mourn the living. And it's very hard. Right? But sometimes look at it as a gift. That once you get past the first few stages of grief, where you feel heavy and weighed down and what did I do, what did I didn't do, what, what you didn't do, what you should have changed, what you should have said, how it would have played out differently. You just feel like crap. You feel crappy. You feel like crappy as a human. But at a certain point, if that person or that situation was toxic to you and it was just building up inside of you, the toxicity, the nasty, when you release it, it's like being constipated for, let's say I'm 39. It's been like being constipated for 39 years and those that sick, nasty, yucky feeling and then you take the lactose, you eat the fiber, you do the work, you drink the water, and then you're not constipated anymore. That feeling of relief, of feeling light, lighter on your feet, lighter in your mental spaces. You know, I'm not the originator of this saying that people are seasons, feelings are visitors. But it's true. Not everybody is meant to be there for you or you're not meant to be there for everybody. You're the entirety of your existence on this planet. So when someone leaves you or someone encourages you to leave, do it. Do it. And eventually you'll feel lighter. Eventually you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. Things work out the way they're supposed to. Just all of its perspective. Be blessed.